What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we got another great video for you guys. So I've been looking at the recent videos and the stats and everything, the comment section, and I've noticed you guys really, really thoroughly enjoy our pro games. So basically what this is, is instead of us going on a map and telling you guys the comp and everything, we show you guys the actual esports of Brawl Stars, the tournaments we compete in, and our results. Now, I'm just basically, every single tournament I get into, unless I get a really terrible spot or I lag out from Wi-Fi or it's a DQ, I'm going to show you the end game results, at least for my team. So right here, we participated in PBL qualifiers number two. Now this happened yesterday at uh, Thursday, 6 p.m. EST. If you guys don't know about this league, it's, it's an extremely homegrown league. You know, it means a lot to a lot of the original pro players. Um, it's run by Coach Corey, who is definitely my favorite Brawl Stars YouTuber. Um, you know, he has really good insight on stuff, and he commentates, he runs it. There's a great league full of admins. There's a lot of good players, and this season it's separated from NA to EU. So before, the Europeans and the North Americans used to play together, but now we have two separate leagues. So right here was the North American team qualifiers. Now, there's only four spots available out of ten, and six teams are already pre-qualified. So why am I not pre-qualified? It's because I'm now signed with Omen, and Omen didn't have a spot last season, thus we have to earn our spot this season. So we won the last qualifier, and all we had to do was get past the second round this season in order to make it, and in order to qualify for the regular season. But, you know, we wanted to kind of flex a little, so we tried to win the tournament. So we're going to show you guys the final games in the final series against another Omen team. Now, let's hop right into the first game, and we can talk a little bit about the comps, what we did, and how we were able to play. Alright, so here we go. So normally my team would be myself, Feli, and Jack Chepo. But, you know, we didn't, we already got to the finals. We already secured our spot as the number one team in the qualifiers. So we didn't really have to go all out this game. You know, we, so we just let Patchy and Jigsaw play. Jack and Feli were a little bit busy. So I just played for fun. So basically what we have is we have the left side Carl Lane. Now Carl Lane is really, really good on this map. He's so tough to beat. Um, I went Carl a lot this tournament, actually, just because it's not Patchy or Jigsaw Strike. So we were able to get the first kill on Master Froggy. Jigsaw is going to go up and get Hazard one shot. I did miss Hazard over there. Good juke by him. And I'm playing a little bit aggressive here. So something you want to do with Carl, I don't know what Patchy was doing. I think he tried to auto-aim a shot. Something you want to do with Carl, definitely, is to stay really patient. So Joker Joe went in a little bit too deep. And he was going to go down. And a mistake I made here was I wasn't able to hit Master Froggy with the comeback of the Carl shot. And he was able to stay alive because he went into a spike super and he also gained that back. So good play over there by Patchy. Killing um, killing uh, Master Froggy and able to get, allow me to get my lane back. Hazard was one shot due to Patchy's mines. But Patchy did miss a set of shots and was not able to kill him. Uh, so right now it's just position wise, you know, we put a pail on the right side because we knew it was there was going to be a Carl over there So we we're kind of just trying to protect that right side as much as we can again Me and patchy were able to take out joker joe good playing so far by patchy jigsaw and myself were able to keep them back for the most part Good kill over there by patchy, you know bow mid is not the strongest thing in the world So something very crucial is making sure that you know, you're helping your lanes a lot You don't have to necessarily just solely go for the mid We're gonna super over there and get right on top of master froggy We're gonna be able to take him out a tiny bit of BM over here by me and jigsaw You know, you always have to enjoy winning those games uh, These are our close friends, so it's not something that they're gonna take personally But yeah, we're just gonna hit a few more shots and that is going to be the end of the first game in gem grab So here we go into our second game of Heist, Twist, and Shoot. Now the bands on this map were Brock and Bull, and those are the two brothers that I normally play on this map. So it was super, super difficult uh, for us to pick a comp. Uh, we had a fair amount of success on this map so far, but it was definitely our weakest. It was, I think it was the only one we've actually dropped a game on going into this. So I went Colt. Usually we would have Jack as Colt, because Jack is an absolutely insane Colt. But we have me this time because Jack wasn't able to play. So I'm kind of backed up over here. I knew I was going to die, so I made it like kind of a suicide shot in order to kill Joker Joe, which was huge. I thought that was actually going to be a really big play in order for us to win. I'm sorry for the lag, by the way. I don't know what is happening. Like, the replays are just messed up. But I was able to full clip both, the, both of the tanks and get them both alongside Patchy. And we have the defense pretty good. So now it looks like they have caused a lot of pressure. But, Joker, but Jigsaw has been doing a ton of work up there. So right now it's just us with the Barley and Jigsaw at the top of the screen. Jigsaw is going to roll in and hopefully he'll be able to take out Master Frog. He wasn't able to see. Actually, when we were playing, I was able to full clip Hazard over there. Master Frog, he's just going to leave after he kills Jigsaw. Jigsaw is going to spawn back. 
a little bit of indecisiveness or uh, indecisiveness over there by Jake. So you don't want to walk back and forth because that just wastes time. Over here, Master Froggy is just hiding behind a, uh, a block, so I'm going to be able to full clip him. Over here, I thought, we, were, to be honest, we were going to be able to win. You know, Jigsaw went on Hazard. I did kind of waste my super over there because I wanted to finish off Hazard. They're in a really bad spot in which I can really easily just full clip them, so I was doing a lot of good work over there. I did a lot of damage, and I didn't see Hazard jump, so I moved forward, and I think that might have costed us the game because our pressure just was really strong, and Hazard was able to come over and kill us. Now, although I'm going to spawn, I'm going to try and hit as many shots as possible. It's just not going to be enough as they're running that double tank barley comp and we just aren't able to do enough damage to take them out. And that is going to be it. We're going to take the loss of them. Good play over there by Hazard. He played really, really well that game. Shout out to him. He's a really good player. And that's going to even up the finals. Omen versus Omen at one to one. Now over here, we're going to go into triple dribble and they're, they're running a triple tank. Now I should have saw this coming because Spike was one of the banned brawlers for this map and he does obviously amazing work against the tank. So we start off, you know, we're playing decently well, kind of hitting our shots, a few missed shots over there on Hazard and all of a sudden 12 seconds in and they score a goal. So we're not in a voice chat because um, this is kind of just really sloppy. We weren't really trying too hard for this game. But yes, but we kind of just picked it up. We started to actually focus a little bit. You know, good play over there by Froggy to get a slow. Good play by Joker Joe. I was able to thread the pass over there. If I messed up that pass, one of their two teammates would have got it and just easily put it in the net. So that was actually a really underwhelming play that doesn't look great. You know, it's not like a fancy kill or anything, but it's something that helped us a lot with winning that game. Now, Jigsaw is going to put good pressure on Master Froggy along with his turret. Uh, Master Froggy is going to go down low, and a lot of pressure is going to be put onto Hazard. We're going to be able to take out Hazard. Patchy's going to be able to get Master Froggy. I'm going to walk up and I'm going to shoot the ball. It's going to hit Joker and Joker is going to be spamming auto aim because, you know, he has to try and take me out and it's going to bounce off the barrels and into the net. So that makes it 1-1 with a minute and a half left to go. Um, although none of our brawlers directly counter a tank, we definitely do. We all do decent work against one. So we're working as a unit right now to take them out. You know, we have a bear, we have a turret. Again, I apologize that there's a, a little bit of cutoffs. I think it's because of this... Um, this was 18 hours ago or something like that, so that could be why the replays are a little bit sloppy. But anyways, good playing over there. We were able to defend that, and now we're able to put on a lot of pressure. We have the bear in front of Patchy, and that's that's giving us uh, A, positioning, and B, it's wasting a lot of their shots. I'm moving the ball forward over there, and I, I'm actually hitting both of them right now with my clips. I'm able to go over here and take out Hazard, and I went right up to Froggy, and I thought I'd be able to do more, but I actually was got super low. I'm actually able to get Froggy also super low and able to take out Joker Joe. Jigsaw was able to take out Master Froggy pretty easily since I got him pretty low. And right here, Hazard passes the ball forward. Good play by Hazard, who played really well in Primo yesterday. Jigsaw is going to be given the ball. He's going to move forward, but he's going to end up passing it back. We have the turret. We have the bear. And they don't have any pierce damage outside of the Primo, but it's not too much pierce. So it's making it really tough for them to hit multiple targets. I was able to take out Master Froggy as well with the teammates. Uh, we're doing a lot of work to Joker Joe. Jigsaw's going to miss his shot. I'm going to go in. I'm not going to be able to shoot, but Patchy's going to be able to squeak one through ever so closely, but he was able to do so. You know, star player to Patchy, really good playing by him in this Brawl Ball game, and we were able to take a really, really tough one against the Triple Tank, which gave us the 2-1 lead in the series. This is a best of seven, so you need four games to win. Let's hop into the next match, which is a new Siege map, which has made it actually really difficult for this tournament, and let's talk about that one. So here we go on to sparring match. Now we've run the same comp throughout the entire tournament and something that uh, a lot of the top end teams do, so I'm talking like my team, Main Tribe Gaming, Nova Esports, is they start to document what comps people are running for the future. Now there isn't too many top tier teams right now playing in these qualifiers. Um, there, there is another good, these guys are really skill based, but they're actually not too familiar all that much with tournaments uh, and league play. So they're not doing all the strategies that a higher end team is very experienced does. So we're holding lane. We were able to win our lane against Master Froggy very early on. So we were able to get position over there. This play was actually pretty crazy because I had a bear on me, but I was able to get Master Froggy, roll in there, pick up the uh, pick up the bolt and be able to roll out, which gave us the first bot. And the first bot is by far, by far, by far, by far the most important bot in the game. So you guys really need to make sure you guys are working hard on getting that initial position and getting that bot now we're going to be they're all going to be clumped up and that's pretty good for us as a carl but we weren't able to reach them only one of them so the bot's going to move forward 
you know, they're doing a lot of good work. They're focusing the bots, so we aren't able to do too much damage. So we're going to be going out. None of us is going to go down, though, and we're just going to go back to holding that right side. Now, we are pretty low, so we're going to stop shooting over here and heal up. We're going to put on pressure so we're able to pick up that gem. Again, we got a bear on us, and we don't want to do too much. We're just going to go back. We're going to get that bear and then slowly work our way to getting position back. Master Froggy has position over us right now, so it's going to be tough to beat him as he's Anita. Anita is really good when she has position. Um, I'm going to move up as Master Froggy extended to get that bolt, and we're going to be able to kill him as, uh, um, with a pinch uh, with Patchy. It's currently 5-3 to three right now, but we're picking up gem, uh, bolts. We have position. Patchy's going to pick up that last bolt, and that's going to lead us to getting the second bot as well. We're going to take out Master Froggy again with the help of Patchy, as well as get Joker Joe decently low. We're going to spin right towards Joker Joe, but throw a shot beforehand so we're able to kill him and not let him cash in that bolt. This push is actually going to lead us to do a lot of damage, as again, they overextended a tiny bit, and that was able to allow me and Jigsaw to be able to hit them, as well as Patchy. We were able to take one out, and Patchy was able to take the other two out al alongside the bot. And here we did a ton of damage. You know, Jigsaw is going to do a little bit of BM. Um, I don't really like doing that too much, especially against someone that is A, our friends, or B, that we respect, just because, you know, it's kind of like showing off a little bit. I know Patchy's low and Jigsaw's dead, so I rolled towards the mid, and I switched to the right side because that's where I saw most of the bolts started to spawn. We're going to be able to get jo Joker Joe super close, but we're not going to be able to take him out. Um, I went right beside the wall, which is super good with Carl as you get your shots back even faster than normal And we were able to take out our lane fairly easily uh, We're able to chip hazard even though he's super far and we were able to take out hazard over there Master froggy is super super aggro over here So we're just able to roll right on to him and be able to take him out um, This entire game we died to we died on lane zero times, you know, we pl I, I was really proud of this game I felt like we played this game really perfectly and nobody was able to take us out so at this point joker joe is kind of just stopping he knows the game is over jigsaw and patchy are bming with him a little bit um I, even i'm just overextending and kind of stopped carrying this game and just let master froggy kill me but that is going to be the end of the game we're going to get the 3-1 lead on the other team i got star player for i think the second time in the series but this was definitely a group effort you know we didn't let them get one bot we played really well as a unit and that's what you achieve and you strive for as a brawl star team you know no one can individually carry a team so it's really good that even when the main team isn't playing we're practiced enough and we play with each other enough that we can play at a really really high level so we're going to go on to the final match which is cell division and let's see how we do on that one so here we go so again we're going to be running carl and i i think every game we actually did i we did run carl um just because right now carl's break, basically the most broken brawler in the meta if you take out rosa Nothing really counters Carl too much, so I wanted to go Carl just because I knew I'd be able to do really, really well on lane. Now, usually I'm very happy to face the spike. I will say I, I play this map very, very rarely. So I have like basically no clue what's not no clue what's going on, but the lane is super hard. Um, I don't think Carl is really the best over here, to be honest. I think he's all right, but he's definitely not too good since there's a lot of walls and it's really hard for him to shoot around them. Master Froggy is going to jump into our area. And he has really good positioning on us right now. He has his spike super. So I thought he, we were going to be able to kill him with that roll. But again, just like in the first gem grab game, he's going to kill us with, with just one shot. And like half a second later, and I would have been able to kill him. Good pinch over there by Patchy. And I was able to get Master Froggy with the edge of my shot. We're going to push Hazard back. Joker Joe is in that right side trying to get lane. But Patchy has his bear. Patchy's also got a healing turret. So it's super tough for Joker. Again, Master Froggy with that super is going to do a lot of work. And again, be one shot to us killing him killing him but it's not going to be enough patchy over there was auto aiming and i definitely wouldn't recommend that just because if he was actually aiming he would have been able to get the kill master froggy is going to be able to pick up the gems but that's super good for us because now he can't be offensive we're going to be able to have excellent position on him and it's going to be really really easy for us to go in and kill him now he's going to be super defensive we're just going to heal up a tad in those bushes and then we're going to roll right towards master froggy we're going to be able to get the kill um i only was able to pick up one gem though we were able to kill Joker Joe. I am going to go down. Good play by Jigsaw by not getting greedy and getting those gems. You know, we're up 8-4, to 8-7 to seven now with those gems picked up. But we really didn't need it since we had position. Patchy is going to be able to push back Hazard a lot. Jigsaw is going to be able to get that kill. I'm going to be able to kill Hazard, obtain my super. And with the body block from that bear, I'm going to be able just to just spin away. You know, get out of their shot distance. Jigsaw, he is lagging a bit. So credits to him for playing really well while lagging. 
Uh, we're going to be able to get a couple kills over here. Jigsaw with the BM shooting that turret over the uh, over the wall. But that is going to be the end of the game. We're going to be able to take the series 4-1 to one against the other Omen team. Uh, GG's to them. You know, we scrim against them a fair amount. So it's really fun to be able to play them in an actual pressure situation instead of just, you know, against each other on ladder and scrims. Um, I do apologize again that the replays did have a bit of choppiness. I definitely am going to see if that's due to um, to it being like 18 hours ago. I, that's my guess. I've never seen it like this before. I don't know if it's my device. I don't think it is. But anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. I do know how much you guys enjoy watching that Brawl Stars Esports stuff. So we're definitely going to be pumping these types of videos out as much as we can. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see. I will catch you guys later. Peace.